2v2 Ashes of Typhon blue side. We've got G Pipe as a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive melee commander, walks through cover, cannot be suppressed, not much support, but can soak up and deal out a lot of damage. Alongside is Sabulum playing a commander knob, infiltrating commander, nice damage potential, lots of sneaky orc tricks as well. Fights melee and range, starts off ranged. Red team, we've got Hans Moleman as an Eldar Warlock, offensive melee commander, quite mobile, can also disrupt and be quite durable later on depending on how you gear him. Rounding out red team, we have Koras playing a Hive Tyrant, the toughest commander in the game to start off. Walks through cover, cannot be suppressed, fights melee by default, offense and support, does not start with an ability but does emit a basic synapse. Chaos Lord up against the Warlock on his east side, double guardians for Hans Moleman, including the guardians he started with and they are shooting the hell out of this Chaos Lord, he's going to try and close and get killed a week, need to move guardians, there is kill the week and hits it very well, here comes some Chaos Space Marines as well and these guardians are in trouble, there's a nice destructor, took about a third or so of those CSM's health. Warlock now trying to get into melee range but gives up and runs and now they're getting this power node hit. Meanwhile west side, a whole bunch of tyrannies, double termigants for Koras and orcs are just backing off here. Interested to see how this plays out, we have Hormagons up against sluggers and double termigants mirroring double shooters. Hormagons seen as somewhat of a weak unit by a lot of people at the moment as they cost 300 requisition and don't really bring a lot to the table in tier 1 or indeed tier 2 so melee synapse does help them out a lot there termigants though a very viable unit with toxin sacks as you can see crypting those sluggers and now we have a shooting match shooter boys versus termigants and shooter boys I think will out DPS these guys none of them standing in cover and now we have big shooters and the termigants run Here come those guardians again, and shuriken cannon, where is it? It's coming around this side, guardians and the warlock run, the shuriken getting way too close and needs to run as well. Good play so far from G-Pipe, double Chaos Space Marines. This western VP is finally going to be captured by shooters and they are taking the center as well. Might be a triple for blue here. Here come Hormagons, but they are hugely outnumbered and need to flee. No adrenal glands for them. Really suffered from losing that plus one speed from adrenal glands, I think. Commander Nob working on these generators with that twin link shooter, which does some nice damage. And Warlock decaps the east side. Curse Lord is running from something. Guardians. Warrior Brood on the way for Koras will be another source of synapse as well as the hive tyrant double CSM one squad very low on health well down to about half which is about the time they'll perhaps lose a model here comes the hive tyrant no charge armor yet which is usually the case for hive tyrant players stun bomb goes in misses everything hive tyrant soaked up a lot of damage but didn't do much else and now Koras is doubled and needs to flee. Here comes Hans Moleman. Can he set up this shuriken? Yes, there he goes. He'll suppress the CSM, but the Warlock needs to run and takes out a CSM model there. That 66 requisition just to reinforce that one guy. And we have some Barb Strangle Warriors now. Really nice weapon for them that they can get into one. Instant suppression and pretty decent AoE damage. As you can see against those Orcs, scaring them off. And Cal Space Marine scared off. Might be a very nice weapon to use against the Orc mob on this side. I'd like to see the Commander Nob get his knife and assassinate some warriors, though I suppose the shotgun in tier 2 is just too tempting against Tyranids. Cats Lord trying to cap the east side, no combi flame up, or indeed any war kit. And he should be able to do it. In fact, the sheriff runs. Very strange. 
that's thought he was going to lose a model, but even so, I would have kept it there. Center is capped by the Warlock, I believe. No, who is capping that? It's a bunch of Guardians. West side is red. Koras not wanting to push here. Waiting for the Orc push, perhaps. And both of these shooter boys now have knob leaders increasing DPS and survivability. Ormogon Brood lose a member in a second to these double shooters and run, especially with that commando knob providing fire support as well. No war gear for this guy yet. Would have thought we'd see stick bombs versus a Tyranid player. And now Koras is going to be doubled here and decides to back the hell off. Good choice, I think. Heretics with their aspiring champion turning him into a pretty nasty melee unit in tier 1. And people starting to hit tier 2 and indeed g Pipe getting a Blood Crusher out. Sepulum almost halfway to tier 2. Hans Moleman is tier 2 and Koras is behind a very heavy tier 1 as is expected from Tyranids. Double Toxin Sacks, Warrior Brood with the Barb Strangler. Orcs pincered here, taking loads of damage. That Shooter Boy squad runs away. Ouch, loads of shooters dying. Only the Knob Leader survives, in fact, on this squad. That Barb Strangler doing insane damage to those Orcs. Commando Knob has nothing to tie them up with. That's where the knife would have come in handy, I think. Warlock now trying to tie up some CSM. Hugely outnumbered, needs to run and does. Can he get away though? Yes. Blood Crusher hits the field. Koras doing a decent job, but needs to run there. Is let the galaxy burn by the Curse Lord. Armour of the Inferno, very nice anti blob war gear. Where is that Blood Crusher? Here it is. This thing is a demon with vehicle armor. Quite quick, decent damage versus all targets. Not the toughest vehicle around though. Map control basically even. Blue team taking the central VP. Red team have this eastern edge power. Sorry, rep point. Not quite fully matured. And a Wraith Lord hits the field for Hans Moleman. Love all these walkers we'll see in, in 3.191. And it will make short work of that Blood Crusher, I'll tell you. Blood Crusher perhaps could do with a bit of a buff in the face of these walker units. Maybe a slight price reduction, though, does cause problems with early Blood Crushers causing havoc. Wraith Lord coming in and there's nothing really that G-Pack can do about it. The Blood Crusher won't be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that thing. The Chaos Lord cannot get a melee heavy weapon. Both the Claws and his Blood Maul are, are power weapons. Weird Boy on the field for Sabulum. Very nice anti-blob unit. To deal with these double termigants and the Hive Tyrant now has Crushing Claw. So that Blood Crusher will want to stay the hell away from this Hive Tyrant. Devastating melee weapon. And now goes after the Commander Knob. Look at the DPS. And there's a Shotgun Blast as well, which is no joke. And the Commander Knob goes down, wanting to stick around to get that high explosive shells off and pay for it. Zone Throat on the field for Koras. Very nice artillery unit, doesn't need to set up, also emits a health regeneration synapse, though the range is rather short. Vulnerable though, especially when its shield is down. Here comes a Blood Crusher to the mid, with a Chaos Lord. A Lightning Claws, you see he gets the hammer icon, but these are not melee heavy weapons. The Lightning Claws are a power weapon, and he might be able to revive the Commander Knob there. Blood Crusher doesn't want to charge in here. Hive Tyrant will rip it to pieces with those crushing claws. The damage already, that's, that was three or four hits. Let the galaxy burn, nicely done by the Curse Lord. And this might be a full retreat from Koras. 
Palatine right, in a bit of trouble here. Blood Crusher catches it in retreat. Gets attacks off very quickly, so it's pretty good against retreating units. Hans Moleman backs off. Well played. Doesn't want to tackle with two players, even with that Wraith Lord. Tier 3 for Koras and Sabulum. G Pipe already there. Hans Moleman, the last to go. 2 to 1 for, sorry, a double for Red Team. Gonna be a 2 to 1 once this Commander Nob finishes the cap. Level 1 Commander Nob. Also has extra equipment along with that special shooter shotgun. First Lord, level 2. Back on the east side. Gonna try and retake this VP. Guardian energy shields all over the place. Blood Crusher just walks through them though. Warlock has warp throw and nothing else. Very nice disruptive war gear accessory. Corn worship now will help out that blood crusher and it needs it because here comes the Wraith Lord and let's warp throw. Chuck in those heretics. Wraith Lord went right after the blood crusher then and it's down to half health. Now goes after the Chaos Lord. Nicely done, let the galaxy burn. And here come Orcs to reinforce the Chaos player. Weird boy, can he get some shots off on that Wraith Lord? There we go. Can he finish off this Blood Crusher? Nice synergy there with the Focus Warp Blast of the Zone Throat. And a Blood Crusher goes down, now works on the Chaos Lord. But here comes a Chaos Predator in its default state with that Battle Cannon. Hive Tyrant going after it snared by the zone throw but that's a lot of stuff for the hive trying to deal with knob squads to name but one in their default state with their chain axes and the hive tyrant with nine hit points gets away wraith lord taking a lot of damage here needs to go back to base and be triple repaired or double repaired by those guardians heretics repairing the curse predator might see him go for a mark of corn with all this infantry around. Carn effects on the field for Koras, monstrous creature with vehicle armor, will regenerate health, much like the Blood Crusher does, or did. Knob Squad headbutts the generator to death. Elite tier 3 infantry can go toe to toe with pretty much anything, especially when they start leveling. And reds completely lose that power and blue are looking pretty strong now with the Predator and Knob Squad. But Koras also looking quite strong. And look at this, Hans Moleman has an avatar of Kane on the way. West side being taken by Hormagant Brood. Out, shotgun decimating those Termagants. Carn effects has the Thornbag upgrade, turning it or specializing it more into a melee walker. And Termigant's getting shot to bits, and that's a nasty weird boy hit, and they completely wipe in seconds. Lapsing concentration for Koras. Pomegranates cannot finish the cap. You see the knockback that the shotgun does there. Blue team now diverging on this west side. Bark Strangler Warriors, are they going to try and cap? They are, and they're not going to be able to. Marco Zinch on this Chaos Predator, the Carnifex needs to run because here come a Knob Squad. Now, can it get away? It can. These warriors have no chance of escape though, surely. Bang, just touched them and they died. I have Tarrant fighting off a bit more they can chew, but does get away. He really needs an arm upgrade, that guy. Can he get away? One more hit, no, goes down in retreat. 188, 153. None of the victory points capped. Red team are taking east thanks to Hans Moleman. This Wraith Lord still whacking on stuff. And now has the Wraith Bone upgrade so it can heal itself. Last cannon tank, though, a pretty nice counter for it. I'm not sure if Hans Moleman has forgotten about this guy, but he's getting shot to bits here. And the avatar is in the center. Super unit for Eldar. Actually has super heavy infantry armor. So power and plasma weapons really hurt this guy. Hugely powerful in melee and also 
buffs nearby infantry and the Wraith Lord goes down. Chaos Predator is going to level soon. 188146. A 1 to 1 cap with Zone Throat taking the middle. But the Chaos Lord is decapping east, so this might be a 2 to 1 for blue. Very unclean one on the way for G Pipe. Battle Wagon on the way for Sabulum. Super units coming out in force. Koras might be saving for a Swarm Lord. Or just another Carnifex, perhaps. Big fan of the Swarm Lord myself. Avatar gets a retreat hit, hit on the Kwandanov. Look how much damage it did. Stun Bomb does nothing. You see the Avatar buffing the Hormagons and those Guardians there. And Kwandanov is eaten by the Carnifex and chucked aside. 188132, a 2 to 1 for blue. They are stacking in mid. Trying to make this a triple, but red team are taking west. Here comes the avatar leading the red charge to the middle. Needs to back off. Red team need to group up and push mid or sneak around to the east. Super unit for orcs here, the battle wagon. Can run over stuff, does some pretty nice DPS. Vehicle armor, and we have another Nov Squad on the way for Sabulum, in fact, on the field. And the Great Unclean one is on the field. He heard there was a buffet or something and wants to get into the middle. Avatar taking a lot of damage from that Predator, and here comes the Great Unclean one. Carnifex now weighing into that battle wagon and Koras has gone for another Carnifex this time with a Venom Cannon. Great on King 1 going after the Avatar. This thing has a ridiculous amount of health, over 6,000. Very tough, quite powerful in melee as well and has lots of nasty abilities. Needs support though. We have some heretics so could get worshipped but they are capping right now. A 1-1, one 1-8-8, one, one eight eight, one twenty. Quite an even match. Here comes a Fire Prism for Hans Molman. Using its focused blast against that great unclean one. And this tank indeed. Ouch. Already down to half hit points. Hive Tyrant chasing this Curse Predator. I've lost the indicator for him. But he's in pretty good shape. Can he finish off this thing? He is charging. The passive charge that melee units get. But now the Predator has some friends and this is a dead Hive Tyrant. 188116. Blue team looking very strong with double knobs, great unclean one, and a battle wagon. And it's Chaos Predator, of course. Double CSM without any marks, or indeed without an aspiring champion. And there's the Torrent formation. Will it finish off the tank? Yes! Also hits the heretics, but the CSM should escape. 182116. Carnifexes are back at base, now moving out. Since they can regenerate health, you can take them back to base to heal up. Takes a while though. Great and clean one used to run over these capillary towers, which will buff nearby Tyranids with a synapse. Avatar of Cain is going to miss this Wailing Doom. Seem to hit the Chaos Lord though, and knock him off that cap as well. Red team have a chance here. They have double Carnifex and an Avatar and that Fire Prism for fire support. Here's a Shuriken as well. And Chaos Lord needs to run. Now, here comes the Great Unclean one though. In the center meanwhile, Guardian shooting up shooters and force them off. Reds might be able to cap that mid. But they might lose the east. They need to send something west. Look, it's completely barren. Meanwhile, Battle Wagon and Knob Squads doing a number on his Carnifex as one goes down. 182108. And Knob Squad chasing this other Carnifex. Tyranid bases do not have base turrets as such, they have these pod things that shoot spore mines. Zone Throat got a good shot off though. 
now blue are taking east for a 2 to 1 one eight two one zero four. Ouch, very nasty special attack from the Great Unclean One. Another Chaos Predator of 4 G Pipe, and that Fire Prism does not last long against those Laz Cannons. Another Carnifex for Horas. Excellently timed Wailing Doom on the rear armor of this Chaos Predator. Did not get a rear armor hit though, very unlucky. Would have finished it off then. Should get Mark of Zinch CSM to deal with this avatar. Does not have the resources, I suppose. Warlock reviving the High of Tyrant here. Fully kitted out now of Providence, Witchblade of Kernus, and Warp Throat. High of Tyrant still with the Crushing Claw. Chaos Lord fully kitted out, Armory Inferno, and the Lightning Claws, along with the Icon of Nurgle now. Making him a bit more tanky. Commander Knob goes down to a Carnifex. Shooter boys don't want to mess with this. Or maybe they do get in line of sight for a rocks. Look at the damage to these guys. Good grief, almost finished them off. That was crazy. And here comes a Knob Squad to do just that. Hit in frenzy. And another Knob Squad. These Carnifex just need to run. And it needs some crippling poison. There it is. Very good play by Porus. Not easy to do that kind of stuff this late in the game. So I have the presence of mind to put out a Crippling Poison. And it's a 2 to 1 for red. 170, 88. Something being dropped. Probably. No, it's Warriors. I thought it was just going to be Rippers to tie up those knobs. Warp Spiders on the field for Hans Moleman. Nasty range damage versus other infantry can teleport and also deal with large targets thanks to their KY grenades. And as you can see by the grenade icon, they have one. And there it goes onto the Predator. And there's a Wailing Doom. These heretics need to run and they dodge it pretty nicely. Avatar really wants to finish off this Predator. Great unclean one after it though and Corn Worship cannot save it. Warp Spider's doing a number on the CSM, ouch. I think Ethereal Slash went off there as well, wasn't paying attention to that fight. Excellent play by Hans Molman, that was Wrath of Cain in the retreat path. And g Pipe. that was a very bad engagement for him. Meanwhile, Centaur is uncapped, Shooter Boys are trying to take it and they probably will. Because there's a knob squad here and a battle wagon. West side turning red. Huge amounts of red resource for G Pipe and for Hans Moleman. Might see a couple of nukes yet. Zone so Throat getting nice shots off, and the knob leader of those shooter boys gets away. They're level 3 now. And here is Eldritch Storm from Hans Moleman. Stopping the cat and wiping those heretics. Now there's no worship support for this great unclean one. G Pipe could easily replace them. He's in fact down to double CSM and that great unclean one, and his CSM have no mark. All stems from that excellent engagement that Hans Moleman just had. Going for the warp spiders really, really paid off. And Zone Threat getting shots in here. Here come the Nob Squad though. The Imperial Abyss. They didn't really hit that much, might finish off those Guardians. Can they get away? They do get away. High of Tyrant running right into it. Now has Bonded Exoskeleton, which makes him very, very tough. 14, 90 hit points at level 3. And this Battle Wagon has double Venom Cannon Carnifexes on it. Great and clean one stomping around the east side. And blue team concede a little bit premature but I suppose with all the stuff that G-Pipe lost red team really coming back into it the avatar double carnifexes and these very dangerous warp spiders I think Hans Moleman did excellently well at the end thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time